Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Cheers to all you guys. Uh, shout out to all the good feedback I got on the um, on the lowering and on the lowering on the trailblazer. Um, remember, I told you guys I was gonna wrap it. Well, here it is. I didn't go ahead and record the whole process because it was a hassle. I wanted to get it done quick as well, and I didn't have no help, so it was all me by myself. It was just me by myself wrapping the truck, you know. But I decided to record this this part and then the and and show you guys how it is because I ran out of wrap. You can see right here. Just the two doors I missed and the trunk. Um so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and record it and show you guys the update on it. So let me walk you through, see how it looks. So far it's all prepped and Cleaned with alcohol, 70%. Went ahead, removed the trims, cleaned inside the doors. That's basically the same process I did all around. The bumper was a big hassle right here in the edge where that little jump is. But we got it through. Remember I told you guys I deleted it? Look at that, it looks really good. Like if nothing happened. And you know what they should have done? They should have just put the wiper here and then would be able to go down, but I don't know. Uh, it's deleted already. It looks really good without it. Check it out, my body work. Can't even tell. You can tell right here the little square because I went ahead and painted it black. But uh, everything else is good. Check it out. I went ahead and put these rally decals on there. They look pretty all right to go with the roof and the black wheels. The wheels are not black, they are metallic. Where's the can? I have the can somewhere here. It's on the other side. But they look black. Sad. Uh, new headlights are in. I went ahead and cut the hood and put these inserts. And honestly, for measurements of 10 minutes, 10 minute measurements, it came out good because I only measured from here to here and then from here to here. And then I focused on the on the windshield uh, nozzle, see? And then measured again from here to here. And it came out really, really good. Check it out. New fogs, the garage is closed, I'll show you guys later. Uh, carbon fiber. Into the grill, but yeah, I think after the whole wrap is done, I'm gonna go ahead and, and wet sand this because it has a lot of tar. I'm gonna wet sand it and buff it out, so it should be pretty good and, and shiny. Here's the paint I use metallic. I only use one can for all four wheels, it was pretty good, but the prep was the most important because it did have pit from the sand, so I was sanding them down really good through primer and then went ahead and painted them so there's this all this trash here because i was wrapping the car right now in silver and it was the wrong color he was trying to match it up so that was a fail if you guys want hit me up it's for sale literally 40 feet brand new for a car i'm also working on these lights they're done already his uh his white strip here went out from here on on because he had moisture in them i went ahead and put a brand new strip in there with the double function white and the switchback so they're sealing already, so it should be done. Also, we got a new sign here. Shout out to my girlfriend for the sign. She snapped on it. Um, it's off right now. Let me turn it on so you guys can see it. There you go. I let you vamos, I let you vamos, yeah. It's, it's coming out pretty good. We should do the last part of it on the whole truck, finally. Uh, I just gotta do the mirror and I just gotta do the the back. Be good. The lid, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, I'm almost done here. 
and that should that should be it. So one of the hardest hardest part if you're a starter and you're gonna start wrapping is the mirrors. If you don't know how to wrap a mirror, you won't know how to wrap a vehicle. Why? Because look at the curbs, curbs here, curbs everywhere. This the flat part you'll stick on, but you have to know how to do all this around. But yeah, you gotta learn how to do this. If if you know how to do this, you'll be know how to do everything else. Because everything else is just flat, flat, flat. But if you know how to do this, you'll be able to be good. Day two. What's going on, guys? So we finally, finally finished the the Joe Blazer. I just finished watching it here. Uh, I'm gonna pull around so you guys can pull somewhere so you guys can see a walk around of how it looks with the wrap. But um, it was cold, it was snowing, we had a snowstorm. I didn't want to go ahead and, and continue with it while we have all the snow going on. So I just recently finished it up like two days ago. I did the, the truck in the back, how I told you guys. So I'm gonna pull around here so you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. I added new fog lights. I added the Corvette logo. I seen that on Instagram, I liked it. On this side, I still gotta put the rally stickers. I haven't done that. Probably do it tonight. I gotta add the SSS emblem back again. Here's the lid I was telling you guys about the, the back I did. Uh, here's the delete, how it came out. This one looks good. This one you can see a little bumpy up on top. Give me the angle, see if you guys can see it. You gotta put the SS emblem and then I gotta put the Corvette logo back here. I gotta wire these out. These reflectors are with light, so I gotta wire them up. See the wire in the bottom? I haven't even got to it. So this is my daily, guys. I told you I've been in a rush on it. So I got my instruments back here. This truck came with the uh, sound system. So that's it guys i hope you guys like it um let me know what's the next upgrade on it i was probably thinking of putting um two eights highs right here facing this way um because it does have a lot of base and i need some highs uh that and then i'm also going to be looking forward for some headers but i've been slow on it i've been lacking because the sierra is already going to come out uh this weekend and i've been buying so much parts for it that um I, I, I don't want to keep up with this and that, you know, I, I not when I got alternators, um, the new pumps, um, I had to get a, a new radiator for the oil cool, and uh, we were going to get the AC um, as well, but we're gonna, I'm going to cancel the AC, I'll probably do that in the future, um, he's going to open up the intake because he's going to put the knock sensors, new oil sensor while I was out, um, what else is going to be new on there, uh, E-fans of course, there's going to be uh what else I buy? I know I bought the, oh, it's a new starter as well. Um, the headers are ready. I showed you guys in the other video that wrap, but everything's ready on the truck. I'm gonna go tomorrow, the weekend, and I am gonna go ahead and put, try to get some footage and then put it all together how it comes out. Let's see if, if I can get some, some footage on it. The engine is out already. I gotta go deliver it tomorrow. It's for sale too. The V6 is sold already. So the, the 6.0 is gonna be getting in tomorrow or tonight, he said. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow because he's a little busy right now. But stay tuned for that video. Um, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to see some more content, some other different content, let me know as well. If you got any other questions, feel free to shoot me a message through my personal Facebook or Instagram. I'm going to drop that down below. Uh, be safe, guys.